Hello world, I'm back again with just a super short video to sort of, you know, in a way, print a retraction. And that retraction is basically, I, I did a video yesterday and I had a couple of comments on that video saying, oh, did you know about this? And as it turns out, I did not know about this. So in my video, I was banging on about the fact that I don't love these handles here. And, and, you know, cause I kept kind of catching them on accident and, and, and et cetera, et cetera. And, and I, and I don't, and I, I don't love them in uh, back when they were in photo lab. I didn't love them there either. But anyway, I was, I was grumbling about that. And, uh, someone actually two different people said to me two different potential solutions for that. Did you know you could make them go away? And, uh, and that's an interesting one. So no, I did not really should have done kind of, but did not. And, but anyway, there's a, a little duver right here that hide is hide the local adjustment parameters in the preview. So if I do that now, if I mouse over these, it is gone and I don't need to worry about it. So I will be using that heaps and thank you so much for the little tip. And that's, that's just put me down. A, and the other person who commented on it gave me a different tip. And that was that you could press shift E. So I'm just doing that on the keyboard now, though you can't see it shift E and there it goes away. And basically you can see it's turned this on because that's now got that marker there. So I'll just shift E again. And now that should be back to normal. And I would see the handles of ones that I uh, grab on. So that's that. Very good point. Thank you to my commenters for A, for helping me out and B, for knowing that both of those things. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. And then it put me in mind that that sent me on a little journey that I'll just share, which is something that, you know, it's one of those things that I know, but I often just kind of don't pay attention to. And that is that if I go here to help and I go to user guide, I can go to the DXO website. And on here, I've just gone to shared in interface and then shortcuts. And there is a wee list of various things that are good to know about. So you can check that out. As I'm looking at it, there are a few that I'm thinking, oh, that would be super handy. That would be super handy. And again, it's one of those things I kind of know. I know that these shortcuts are there and there are a few of them maybe that I use and then lots that I don't use. And, and I just kind of sometimes don't remember to go check them out, but go check them out if you're keen. And the other thing that someone, one of the commenters had said was, just wait till I bring this back up again. With this, where I've got a whole stack of control points, could I not have just done one of those flashy new luminosity masks? And I'm guessing, yeah, almost certainly I could have done. Just wait, click, let me get my help menu to go away. Almost certainly I could have done. I just kind of got caught up. I quite love those little oval control points. I'm really enjoying the oval, but I, I completely agree. It probably was more efficient to do something like that. Let's have a peek at what that might look like. So what's this one on? This is on brilliance and warmth. So let me just, I'll just turn that off for a second and I'll come over here. It's here. I'll just add another one to my stack. And I'm sure it doesn't make too much of a difference that it's at the bottom. It might make a slight because of order does make a difference sometimes, but I won't fuss that too much, but let's just see how that, how that luminosity mask idea would have worked. I'm just going to scroll up here so I can see what, so what do I have 10, 54, 10, just do something kind of similar down here. Close enough. Uh, 50, yep. Close enough. And there we go. Great. So I've got the basic adjustment and then I want to just put it on my little pools of light. So I'll grab the luminosity mask while I'm hovered here. I'll just, someone also mentioned about how you can do neutral or, you know, things that take away the effect. And, and that is in that little text that's appearing there. If you read it, luminosity mask, and then it's got brackets, hold alt to add it neutral. So that's kind of the minus. And if you forget, just hover, it does, it does tell you there. That one I did know about. I just didn't have cause for it yesterday. So then we're going to just come here and pop that there and see what we got. I can see that there's, uh, I'll, I'll turn that on so we can see, but I can definitely see there's some of that shining through here, here, and here. See what we get in terms of overall. <clears throat> yeah, so we're not quite getting there. I bet we need to let a little bit more of the darkness in. Let's see start to bring that out just a little bit more. 
Where is that balance going to be? Maybe there? There's possibly, I think maybe for my purposes, the ovals might have done better, but let's see what the effect is. The masks can be deceiving sometimes. So let me turn the mask off and just see what the effect is. Yeah, actually, in practice, that's close enough, eh? The, the, I could just see little bits shining through on the mask, but I don't think that that's really impacting that in a in a way that's that's bothersome at all. Um, nice. So just just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to use this quick export here. I don't want it to overwrite my one previously, so when I'm done here, I'm going to cancel this to come out of it. So I did my quick export, and now again, I don't want to overwrite what I did, so I'll just come here and cancel. And if you close the application, changes will be lost. Do you want to continue? And I will go close without saving. Right, so that versus that versus that. I guess there is a little different. I, yeah, that's a good point, isn't it? So with my technique, so looking up here, these are quite a bit warmer. With my technique, I had eased it off as I moved my way back through the image. So when I do that, you can see, I think this one's awfully darn similar. But as you work your way backwards, mine had less, had less, oops, had less warmth in them. So if I go here, I'm guessing, yeah, that's a little so. So I guess perhaps in this, just a tiny difference, but I think maybe my technique did maybe suit my intent a little bit better, but certainly that luminosity mask is a really powerful thing. And if it does work, it does save you doing like how many of those little points did I do like eight or something. So, and with that, I'll say thanks for watching and I will talk again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.